WFNN. Headline News Update. Well, yeah, do I have something? There we go. Uh, well, what do we have today? Uh, if you've been listening to my show, kind of what I was thinking was going to happen. Um, I may have not traded it as uh, correctly as I could, but mostly because I was worried exactly what is happening today would happen. And that is that we get a bounce on very light volume. So far, let's go back and look at it here. We're doing about 6.3 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. Uh, you know, we really needed to be about this time doing about eight, eight and a half billion shares. So we're going to have a very law, uh, light volume pop up. And uh, if you've also listened to my show, I talk uh, about a pattern that is one that is, I'm going to say, a big percentage of my winnings in the stock market when it happens. And that is the double repo pattern. Whether using a nine-day moving average or a three-by-three three displaced moving average, which I think is a little bit better. The idea is you have a bunch of days where you go straight up or straight down. You have a little hitch. Now, if you're going to have ABCs, those ABC uh, and big moves higher uh, tend to be, um, you know, like a 382 retracement or something like that. So you pull back maybe 40% of the move up higher and then you continue to go high uh, up uh the more bearish which a lot of people think is actually bullish uh because it doesn't feel like anything's happening is a mild pullback and then a push back higher but without the volume so we've got something that kind of looks like that we've had a lot of push higher a little bit of a pull back and, of course, uh, now we're going higher on lighter volume. We get uh, another day or two of that, and then the next move down generally is the one that is the sole crushing one. No confirmation on that yet. Storm clouds are there. Be back in a The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be